Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're doing today is we are going to take the front fairing off a 22 Lowrider ST. Uh, there's lots of reasons you might need to do this. Maybe you're chain putting a stereo in, maybe you're changing out turn signals, maybe you're doing some of the headlight. Maybe you just like taking things apart and putting them back together. Whatever it may be, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, let's move in for a little bit closer look here. These fasteners that hold your windshield on are a T27 Torx bit. You're going to want to remove each one of these. You're going to want to loosen the top four and then the two lower ones in front of or above the headlight, you'll want to completely remove those. Be careful there's rubber washers and rubber spacers on the back of them. Don't drop anything. You can just loosen the top four, but you're gonna to to remove the lower two, the two there above the headlight. You're gonna to want to completely remove those. Once those are off, you should be able to grab the windshield and lift it up. It will pop off the upper rubber mounts that were holding it in place, and then you're free to do as you wish with the windshield. When removing all the fairing bolts, you want to be careful to go around, break all of them free. You don't want to have just one bolt holding the entire fairing on there. So break all of them free and back them quite a ways out. Then once that's done, you can go around and start removing them. Just leave maybe the top two in there uh, by a few threads. Once you get all the screws out, remove those top two, but remember to support the fairing as you do it because that's the only thing that's holding the fairing on, and the fairing is also holding the headlight in place. Too. So there's a little bit of extra weight there to manage. Now you're gonna to wanna to remove these three bolts. One, two, three. Then there's three more on the other side. From there, you should be able to pull the fairing forward. In the once you pull the fairing forward, you should be able to look down at the top of the headlight on the inside of the fairing, and you'll see a quick connect electrical plug in there. You're going to want to remove that electrical plug. From there, you can remove the fairing right off the bike. Now you're ready to reinstall your fairing. The smart thing to do would have been to clean this fairing while you had it off, but I didn't do that. So, hopefully you can see this. First thing you're going to want to do when you reinstall the fairing, probably help to have someone hold this in place for you. But I don't have that, so we're going to take our plug here, and we're going to plug it back into the spot on the top of the headlight. Which you may not be able to see, but hopefully you saw it in the disassembly process. Right down in there. Now that your headlight is plugged in, you're going to want to start putting your fairing in place. Make sure all your wires are up where they should be, and simply pop it back into location. You might have to move it around some turn signal mounts and stuff. There's no real great secret to this. Just slide it up to where it looks like it's in place. Now, take two screws and start them in there. Do not put them in all the way. All right, now that those two screws are in, you're gonna wanna do a walk around on it. Make sure everything's lined up. Make sure no wires are sticking out or in any weird pinch points. Look inside each screw hole and make sure uh, you can see the little uh, nut thing, whatever you want to call it, the little clip nut that attaches to the fairing. I'll tell you if they're all lined up or not.
There we go. Now, don't tighten anything up yet. What you want to do is go around and start in every single screw. And not by one or two threads. Make sure it's in there by more than a couple threads. That way you know it's fully lined up. Give it a good spin. But don't tighten them down. Because you want to make sure every single screw starts in there before you tighten anything down. And of course, don't forget to put these little wing deflectors on here. They might look silly, but I bet they do something. What that something is, I don't know. If you forget to put them on, you'll probably find out. Next, reinstall the screws that hold the upper fairing in place, or the windshield and the topper, top part of the fairing. You know what I mean. But don't tighten these down. You want to leave these a little loose also. Especially until you get the windshield on there. You may notice these are chrome bolts. Uh, that's because I bought them from Lowbrow Customs. They sell some chrome hardware, and I think it looks cool. Now you're ready to reinstall your windshield. Your windshield should drop into place on these outer grommets here. Put the this side on first. Go around the other side, slide that one down in place, you'll feel it kind of snap in there. Give it a good look over, make sure it's all nice and straight and square. And from there, you can reinstall these two screws. Then after that, we can go around, snug everything up, and then torque them all to spec. You're going to want to torque these screws to 30 inch-pounds.